Ladies, if you were going to describe what type of series this is, what type of series is it? That's okay, a tough one. Yeah, it's a tough it's, one. It's uh, unlike anything else. Yeah. I feel like we can say. It's unlike anything you've ever seen before. Oh, yes. It's, it's like. It's funny and it's sad it's and it's. Traumatic. Traumatic. We sometimes call it a tromedy. A tromedy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's suspenseful. Yeah. It's thriller esque. Ish. Ish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that works. Yeah. And it's about friendship. Yes. Okay. And you're friends in real life, I assume. Yes. Now. Now we are. Yeah. We didn't know each other before. Well, I didn't care for her too much. I mean, I'm kidding. <laughs> People are going to believe you. No, 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 because immediately they know I'm not. Look at this. It's like a barometer of my emotions. I can't hide anything. Me either. Terrible actress. Me too. Um, I love her with all of my heart. I've never, I've never worked with someone that I felt like this about. I love so. her too. We're lucky. Like you can say like, that you've never felt like this about someone. You well, then say. I'd just be saying what you said, and then it would seem like it yeah, wasn't that's real. Fine. But that's true. I've never. I felt can like honestly anybody. say I've never loved a, a co-star the way that I love her. I have never loved somebody like this and trusted somebody, and also I feel like she really brings out the best in me. That's awesome. Can we kiss now? <laughs> Go on. Maybe later. <laughs> Talk to me about um, both of your journeys in the business. Also working in TV and working in film, what have you seen as the biggest change in your both journeys in this business thus far to date, would you say? I think, so long. well, yeah, but I think that uh, when I first started, there was a big divide between television and, and film. And I think that divide no longer really oh, yeah, exists. Oh, yeah, that's a huge And thing. I also think there are so many more platforms. Netflix is a perfect example of sort of changing the game. And as a result, I feel like there are better roles um, that explore, you know, the, the underrepresented voices more thoroughly. And, and, and cinematically, you know, places like Netflix who have, give, you know, the, the filmmakers or the, the, the creators of these shows this, this amazing freedom to, you know, and the resources to make it look beautiful, to really give us time to, to do what we need to do without going you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this, and controlling every aspect of it. They kind of just go, here, do what you must, because we know that creativity needs space, it needs breath. And I think that's why everyone is running to go beyond a Netflix show, because you know that it's not, it's not gonna be typical, and it's gonna be unlike anything else you've ever seen, and that's why it's such a great place to work. I feel very, really fortunate to be working with this group of people. Yeah, the creators really get to run with their vision, which I think the show is, is all Liz Feldman, our creator. It's her whole heart and soul, and her son. it's just everything. And um, I think she's. I think it's great that she's been allowed to do what she did. Thank you guys. I really love the show. Thank it's, you. It's it's like my kind of comedy, so I love fucking loved it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Talk to me about Being Part of Project, which was created by women, executive produced by women. Huh. Um, Talk to me, I guess, about that and how we're starting to see some things change for the better in terms of women creating. Well, I think it's long overdue, I mean, for, first off, so I, I wouldn't have ever wanted it any other way. Um, but it's great to see it actually happening and not just being talked about. And I think on this show, it was uh, it's a testament to Liz and, and, and Linda and Christina to champion uh, the ideas of having either all women directors or um, or someone who's a member of the LGBTQ, um, I, all of our directors were one or the other. Um, so to be a part of something that's sort of culturally aware and cognizant about where we are uh, as people right now uh, is pretty special. And and they're putting their, you know, they're standing behind it, and you know, um, and uh, I, I, I just think that's really special. Um, there's some twists in the show. When when you're a viewer watching a show, are you good at figuring out like what's going to happen, kind of thing, or are mm -hmm. you just go with the uh, flow? Yeah, I, boy, it depends. I, I mean, it's hard not to. To yeah, I guess I kind of just let it come to me, you know. I do feel like if you try to get ahead of something that's that's giving you a story, um, you might spoil the experience for yourself, you know. I like to sort of organically let it come to be in its own timeline. Uh, and I think that that's the, the most rewarding way to watch uh, a TV show or a movie or anything, read a book, you know, just let it come to you. So I try not to guess. Okay. What can you tell me about Sonic? 
Uh, I can tell you that Jim Carrey is back to true form, um, and it was so much fun watching him have fun again doing what he does so well. Um, and when's it coming out? November, I think. Uh, yeah, it's it's um it's a wild ride. It's it's very it's got, you know, it's a taking this icon from the video gaming world and like bringing him to the the big screen and live action. Um, it's got elements of like Neil Moritz who produced the movie, produced all the Fast and the Furious movies. So it's it's got like more of a you know Transformers Fast and the Furious vibe to it, um, but also kid friendly. So yeah, it'll be it'll be it'll be fun. I mean it was. It was fun for me. It's just a, you know, Jim's such a legend, Jim Carrey, and just being able to, he's one of my comedy heroes. So to be able to like be on the receiving end in a scene of, you know, watching him do his thing is pretty pretty cool. Uh, just wrapping it up, uh, you know, you've been in this business now for a minute. Yeah. What's kind of a couple of minutes? A couple of minutes. What's kind of surprised you the most about your journey, and where do you see kind of the state of how things are today? Uh, most surprising thing about my journey as an actor is that it's still a journey. Uh, I, I had hoped that I would be able to make a career out of it when I moved here when I was 19, but I, I you know, I didn't, I didn't know for sure if that was going to happen. The fact that I'm still here talking to you and, um, promoting a, a show that I'm very much proud to be a part of is, um, is kind of a surprise to me. Um, I mean, the industry's shifted over, over time for sure. Um, I would have a really hard time telling somebody who's not in the business, who's young, who wants to get involved in film and TV acting, how that, how you do that. I mean, we used to go take headshots around to agencies and drop them on their front door. You know, I, it's all different now. I don't know how it happens, but um, I think the key is just making sure your heart is behind the art that you want to pursue. You know, like mm -hmm. if you want to be an actor, like go do the work. It's not easy. To, like go. I'm not crying for, you know, like the act, uh, being an actor is a hard thing to do. But what I mean is like, go do stage, go, you know, go take classes, go, um, go get yourself seen. Uh, but um, I like that TV and film have merged, meaning there are two separate um, uh, venues or whatever you want to call it. But, uh, you know, it used to be like this, there was a snobbery about like, oh, you're a film actor, you're a TV actor. Now it's like oh, most of the great materials on TV. And, um, and Netflix has been one of the, the companies that have championed that. Thank you so much. Yeah, I really love the show. You got it. It's yeah. hilarious. It's like, you're right. You're like, you're like can I laugh at that? 